Hi, this is Bed Rest Coach Darlene Turner, owner and founder of Mamas on Bed Rest and Beyond. And in today's video blog, we're looking at the um, app called My Preemie. Uh, I got a note from the developers of this app asking if I would take a look at it, which I'm happy to do, and um, to consider sharing it with you. So rather than kind of dig through on my own, I'm going to share it with you right now. Now, the app is designed by um, the authors of the book, The Essential Guide for Parents of Premature Babies. And I had to write that down because I didn't, I didn't want to mess up the name. And it's written by two moms of preemies and a neonatologist. So I think they're pretty well qualified to talk about, um, you know, kind of tracking your preemies' progress and what's going on. And a lot of you may be saying, why is she talking so much about preemies lately? Uh -huh. Things come in, come in cycles, and right now I happen to be getting a lot of information about preemies, so I'm figuring I'll share it with you. We've also had a couple of preemies born in our community, and I want to do all that I can to support the moms and the babies that have come in. So anyway, the app is called My Preemie, and it's available on iTunes for the iPhone and the iPad. And I downloaded it onto my iPhone, so I'd be able to talk to you here on my iPad. Um, the app is $4.99, and um, it's pretty cute. So here's what it looks like. It's a little hard to see because it's um, coming through on my iPad. And it's got a really cute design. reminds me kind of like Beatrix Potter's uh, Peter Rabbit. So let's see. First thing it says is there is a little plus sign, and it's baby. So I'm going to tap that, and it's asking, uh, what is your name in relation to this baby? So we'll go through it. So, Darlene, oops, spell my own name right, in relation to the baby will be mom. So, I'm going to leave that like that. Now, it's asking for all this information on uh, your baby. So, I don't have any babies right now, but I'll plug in my daughter's because my daughter was my preemie. And that, she was Vanessa, and she was born, ooh, Okay, well, they're asking for her birth date, and it, I don't think it'll go back 11 years. So I'll just leave it as today. And her gender, she is a girl. Can I get girl? And age at birth, she was actually 36 weeks. And she was, she was six days. And she was, actually for a lot of people, she will seem big. She was, um, she was five pounds and three ounces. And she's 103 pounds now and almost five feet tall. But I digress. And you can add another relationship, which I'm not going to do right now, just in the interest of time. Um, I could add a photo. Again, I'm not going to do that in the interest of time. And you can actually change the color and the design. Now, right now, it's kind of this teal color, which I kind of like, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to save it. And so um, they have all this information about my daughter. My daughter's name is Vanessa, and I'm sorry if this is coming out backwards. And although it's not accurate, um, what can we do? So they have a space for a diary. They have space. Let's look what the diary says. And, um, oh, so you, each day you can just uh, put in whatever. And it says, getting started to make an entry in the diary, tap edit. So I would tap, let's see if you can see, I would tap edit and then type in whatever I wanted to type in. And if I'm done, how do you, what do you do when you're done? What is that? What little button did I hit? Oh, okay, I could share it on Facebook. I could print it, email it, or save that entry as a PDF. Pretty cool. And then I can go back to the home page and I think I want to try, what is this little squiggly thing here? Oh, okay. So this is a whole, um, you can add in all your baby's vital information. So for example, I could put in, uh, how long she was. She was, uh, 18 and a half inches long and I forget what her head size is. I have it in her baby book, but you can add things and then it'll graph it out and I guess at each visit or at each yeah at each baby visit you can add in the information so that's pretty cool 
So we'll go back to home and let's see what the guide says because that's the next. There were six little, actually, let me go back. There were six little categories here and I'm basically just going through each one. And here's the guide. Oh, wow. So this is pretty cool. So in the guide, and I'm just showing you what the page looks like, they have preemie basics, preemie parenting, preemie health, NICU staffing gear, breathing, feeding, and development. And in each one, wow, they have all kinds of information. I mean, tons, adjusted age, body temperature, extremely premature. Wow, just information that you can read. Oh, that's pretty cool. Preemie parenting, adjusted age, early childhood intervention, going home, home G2 feedings. Wow, kangaroo care. Ooh, stuff on RSV. So this is really cool because I don't know if you can see this and it's a little bit backwards. Um, it, it has all these different topics and you can go in and tap the topic and read more and then, um, you know, get some information. Then they have ask or do. Now, what is that? Oh, so it's like a little notepad. How cute is this? Okay, so it's a little notepad and what you, you can either have ask or do, which is right across the top. I don't know if you can see that. And you can put notes like if you need to ask the doctor or something, you'll have it here. And that this would have been great for me because I was always forgetting everything. And then your to-do list. Very cool. I like that. And what is the little treasure chest? Oh, treasured moments. So they have things like her birth certificate and footprints, handprints, hospital bracelet. Oh, cool. I don't know if these are... So are these. You may want to gather some of these objects as precious keepsakes. Oh, okay, so they just give you some ideas of stuff that you want to keep. I actually did that. And in fact, when I was just moving this summer, I have a whole box of stuff that is just my kids' baby stuff. I know, I'm silly, but what can I say? And then this last little widget, what is that? Oh, so you can change your settings, you can change your font size. It gives you some information about the app. Oh, you can connect to the software developer. You can tell a friend about my preemie, my preemie support and feedback, and the disclaimer. So this is just kind of a, um, this last thing is more of the um, technical information about the app. So, I mean, it's not awful, but I'll put that up there so if you want to see what that looks like. But this is cute. I mean, it's, it's cute. I... You know, it's so hard for me to think back. I don't know if I would have used something like this when I had my daughter. I think if it had been available, I may have. Um, but I think it's a nifty little way to kind of keep track of things. Um, you know, it's a good way. I mean, I think it's the same type of thing that I did. I just did it in my daughter's baby book. So, you know, we're so technical now that I guess it's a baby book has moved to apps. But um, it's nice. It's cool. I, I, I'm personally a pen and paper person when it comes to things like this so I have like pictures of my daughter pictures of my son and everything all in the baby book but I do look at it this way because I'm this is how I think and I'm kind of crazy if my house ever had a fire I would have it on my phone or something I don't know it's crazy but I think it's a cute little app and it's something nice and positive because I can remember when my daughter was in the NICU I was so stressed and so worried about her even though she was doing really well, she was huge. I mean, everybody kept coming in like, why is she in here? She had hair, she had eyebrows and everything. But, you know, she struggled. She was early and she had breathing problems and she had to be there. So to have something like this to kind of occupy your mind instead of thinking, oh God, what's going to happen, I think is a nice idea. And I look at it this way. It's five bucks. It's really cute. Um, you can take pictures of the baby and just upload it and... I mean, I think it's just kind of the wave of the future, and I like it. So, take a look. It's called My Preemie, and it's by the authors of The Essential Guide for Parents of Premature Babies. You might want to check out the book, too. I have not read the book, so I cannot endorse it one way or the other. And like I said, about the app, I think it's a good app. I'm not saying you should run out and get it. I think it's useful. If that's your thing, how you want to record your information, then yeah, I would get it for your iPhone or iPad. And if not, it's up to you. You can be old-fashioned like me and put it all in a baby book. So here we go. This is My Preemie by the authors of The Essential Guide for Premature Babies, for parents of premature babies. 
and um, I just had a chance to play with it and look at it and I think it's kind of cool. Give it a thought, give it a whirl, and um, let me know what you think. This is Starlene Turner, Bedrest Coach, owner and founder of Mamas on Bedrest and Beyond. Have a great day.